Welcome to IDD, Interactive Digital Design. I'm Kerry, I am one of the co-directors of the department. Uh, we've been going for nine years now and uh, myself and the other director, Alison, have been here from the start and watched it grow. Um, my background, I started off with a degree in computer science, worked in television for a few years um, and then decided to go into education and saw this opportunity to start this course, so um, that's where we are now. Interactive digital design is the study of design through digital medium. So we're looking for young people who are passionate about design. You've got to be a real design lover. Um, we're looking for people who are interested and want to work in a digital medium. Uh, you could be a graphic designer, illustrator, animator, 3D modeler, concept artist, game designer, you name it. If you can draw and you want to draw digitally, then this is the course for you. At post-16, Interactive Digital Design is a Level 3 Extended Diploma from UAL. That's equivalent to three A-levels in UCAS points. Um, you would come out of the course with either a distinction, a merit or a pass, and they are equivalent to three A-stars at A-level, three uh, Bs at A-level or three Ds at A-level. Uh, the course entails 13 units and those units are split between the two years um, that you would be here. So in the first year, you study graphic design, you study 3D modeling, photo manipulation, app design, game design. Um, in year 13, we continue and develop your projects that you would have done in year 12. Uh, so you go on to study game jam, protest design, motion graphics, portfolio, where you put together your work um, to prepare you for the next stage in your career. So we aim to support you both as a student and a person and take your existing talents and give you the resources and the time and the teaching and the space uh, to develop new ones to further your career. The student experience in interactive digital design is um, varied and dynamic. We try and uh, create a very well-rounded professional person who is ready to go on to the next stage of their career. It's a highly vocational course. We give you industry standard briefs. We try and introduce you throughout your time here to people who have worked their way up into industry, work in some of the major companies. We've had speakers from Google, from Ardman, from Apple, Escape Studios, um, we try and give a broad range of subjects and career um, insights. Uh, we also do visits and trips. We've been to the Mill Design Museum, uh, you name it, we've, we've been there. The difference between interactive digital design at the Brit School and studying a similar qualification somewhere else is that we have a highly tailored vocational focus. So you would develop a portfolio for yourself that will enable you to go on to the next stage of your career and that could be straight into industry or it could be onto higher education. Um, within your time here to build up to that point you would have completed work experience um, and that could be uh, anywhere that you choose. We've had students go to really uh, top-end agencies or have completed uh, freelance um, briefs. You would also have completed professional standard and sometimes live creative briefs. Um, and you would have had a really strong insight into what it is that you need to do to further your career. The destinations of a typical interactive digital design student is that actually there is no typical interactive digital design student. So we have students that go to study um, 3D at Escape Studios. We have students that go on to study uh, games design. They could have gone to study computer science at Southampton or even creative writing at Bristol. Um, but typically I would say the outcomes are graphic design and we've had many students go to places like Norwich or Central St Martins um, or Chelsea College of Art, um, London College of Communication. Um, and it's usually related to their final major project that they study in year 13. Um, but really, as long as it's art, and usually digital art, that's where students go. Feedback that we've had from higher education institutes, or actually from um, professional companies, uh, have been really, really highly praising the interactive digital design student. Uh, we've had a student last year, for example, who won a four-year fully funded scholarship for an undergraduate and postgraduate degree at Escape Studios. 
Um, we also had a student this year who at interview stage for university was told to start in year two and not year one because they were so far advanced. Um, we often get comments that we take students to kind of first year degree level and that the portfolio levels actually are of a professional standard. So how do you apply and what are we looking for? We are looking for a strong portfolio that you're able to talk through at interview. And the way you apply is you uh, go online and you fill out the application form and you ask, answer the questions in as much detail and depth as possible. And then we give you a workshop task and then we talk through your portfolio and ask you some questions about yourself. And that's it. Uh, the deadline for application is the 31st of January and we very much look forward to reading your application.